Today's tutorial features this layered floral mani. Now this technique is called the pond technique. I actually thought it was a jelly sandwich, but apparently that's when you have glitter, or that's what I think. The polishes I've used are pictured here and will be listed below. And I also wanted to show you a close up of the nail art brush I'm using because it's not the brush I typically use. I'm drying on my nail art after I've applied one coat of my jelly polish. You can still see my free edge there. And I'm just using my thin art brush and a white polish and drying in this floral design. I do apologize, it's a little bit messy on my ring finger. It's not the easiest to hold my brush in the right angle with the camera in the way, but I swear if you look at my other fingers, it's much tidier. Once your floral pattern has dried, you're ready to add your next coat of your jelly polish. And again, you can still see my free edge. I prefer not to see my free edge when I have my nails painted, but with this design, I actually think it's okay. Continue drawing some more flowers on your nail once that next layer of the jelly polish has dried, and just space them out kind of opposite of the flowers that are underneath, just so that you can see those peeking through and then you're going to allow those to dry. You could do a whole other layer if you want. Um, my nails are really short right now, so I didn't think I could pull off that third coat. However, um, if you have longer nails or if you want to try it even with short nails, that's up to you. For my top coat, I'm using this hollow top coat from Nail. I'll include a link below if you're interested in this. It's similar to China Glaze Fairy Dust, not quite as vibrant, it's a little bit more subtle and I think it's perfect for a mani like this. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. I hope you subscribe and please tune in next time.